what's up you guys welcome back to the channel so um, before we get started I just want to say if you haven't already don't forget to hit the subscribe button because I'm gonna be hosting a giveaway at 1,000 subscribers so you don't want to be missing out on that and also go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up I would really appreciate it and it would really help me out but in today's video we're going to be going over my TBR list for June. So basically I'm going to kind of explain what each book is, read the back to you or like the description, sometimes they're on the inside, and then i um, going to be asking you guys which ones you're most interested in hearing about and um, which ones you'd be interested in having a reading vlog for because I want to make some content about these books because I'm going to read them this month and I think that they're going to be super interesting. So just let me know in the comments which books you guys are most interested in hearing about and without further ado, let's get into the video. Now all of these books have been highly suggested through TikTok or Booktube or Bookstagram. That's why I went and picked them up. Um, and if you wanted to see me getting some of these, I have a shopping video where I went book shopping and I will link it above. Uh, but the first book that I'm going to be having on my TBR this month is The Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. And I'm going to read the back to you guys. So it says, Mar Barrow's world is divided by blood, those with red and those with silver. Mare and her family are lowly reds destined to serve the silver elite whose supernatural abilities make them nearly gods. Mare steals what she can to help her family survive, but a twist of fate leads her to the royal palace itself, where in front of the king and all of his nobles, she discovers an ability she didn't know she had, except her blood is red. To hide this impossibility, the king forces her into a role of the lost silver princess and betroths her to one of his own sons. As Mare is drawn further into the silver world, her actions put into motion a deadly and violent dance pitting prince against prince and Mare against her own heart. From, from debut author Victoria Aveyard comes a lush, vivid fantasy series where loyalty and desire can tear you apart and the only certainty is betrayal. So this is actually the first book in a series. So if I end up really liking this, I'm going to pick up the other books, but I wanted to try this one out first before, you know, buying the whole series. So if you guys are interested in hearing about this one, make sure you comment that down below. The next book that's on my TBR is The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. And I'm just gonna read you guys the back. This one I've seen suggested so many times that I, you know, had to pick it up, but it says, Achilles, the best of all the Greeks, son of the cruel sea goddess Thetis. And the, these, were, these names are going to be hard to pronounce. I already know this is going to be a problem. And the legendary king Peleus is strong, swift, and beautiful, irresistible to all who meet him. Patroclus is an awkward young prince exiled from his homeland after an act of shocking violence. Brought together by chance, they forge an inseparable bond despite risking the god's wrath. They are trained by the centaur Chiron in the art of war and medicine, but when word comes that Helen of Sparta has been kidnapped, all the heroes of Greece are called upon to lay siege to Troy in her name. Seduced by the promise of a glorious destiny, Achilles joins their cause and, and torn between love and fear his, for his friend, Patroclus follows. Little do they know that the cruel fates will test them both as, they, as never before and demand a terrible sacrifice. So if you haven't seen anything about this one before it's basically a retelling of the story of achilles from a different perspective so i believe that it's told through patroclus's perspective and i've watched a couple of people's videos like non-spoiler reviews of this and everyone says it's so good so i'm excited to read this one next up i actually have two colleen hoover books in a row so the first one is it ends with us by colleen hoover and can I just say the cover of this is so pretty? But these are both romance novels, so I'm really excited for these. This one says, Sometimes the one who loves you is the one who hurts you the most. Lily hasn't always had it easy, but that never stopped her from working hard for the life she wants. She's come a long way from the small town in Maine where she grew up. She graduated from college, moved to Boston, and started her own business. So when she feels a spark with a gorgeous neurosurgeon named Ryle Kincaid, everything in Lily's life suddenly seems almost too good to be true. Ryle is assertive, stubborn, maybe even a little arrogant. He's also sensitive, brilliant, and has a total soft spot for Lily. But Ryle's complete aversion to relationships is disturbing. As questions about her new relationship overwhelm her, so do thoughts of Atlas Corgan, her first love and a link to the past she left behind. 
He was her kindred spirit, her protector. When Atlas suddenly re reappears, everything Lily has built with Ryle is threatened. With this bold and deeply personal novel, Colleen Hoover discovers a heart-wrenching story that breaking that breaks exciting new ground for her as a writer. It Ends With Us is an unforgettable tale of love that comes at the ultimate price. So, great love novel. These are probably going to be books that I read at the beach because it's just a really nice setting for something like this. So, definitely going to be reading this one very, very soon. So, Okay, so the next one I have is also a Colleen Hoover book. It is Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. And one of my favorite people to watch on YouTube raves and raves and raves about this book. Her name is Steph. So I definitely had to pick it up and read it. So this might actually be the first one that I read this month, but you guys let me know what you wanna hear about first. So this one says, an, unf an unforgettable love story that breaks all the rules from number one New York Times bestselling author Colleen Hoover. It's not exactly love at first sight for Tate Collins when she meets the tormented and secretive Miles Archer. They wouldn't even go so far as to consider themselves friends. The only thing that Tate and Miles have in common is a mutual physical attraction that can't be denied. Once their, de once their desires are out in the open, they realize they might have stumbled on the perfect no strings attached arrangement. He isn't looking for love and she doesn't have time for it. So that just leaves the sex. What they've got could what they've got could be surprisingly satisfying as long as Tate can stick with the two rules Miles has for her. Never ask about the past and don't expect a future. They think they can handle it, but everything is different when, different when real emotions start to change the equation. Heart gets hearts get infiltrated, promises get broken, rules get shattered, love gets ugly. This one sounds really good and I can see why people write about it because if this is going to be anything like I think it's going to be, it's going to be a wild ride. Okay, so the next book that I have is more of a historical fiction, but I've heard that it also has romance in it too. And that is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. So I'm going to go ahead and read the description. I think this was on the inside. Yeah, it's in here. The book is so pretty. Like, look at the inside. Oh, I'm really excited to read this one just because of how pretty it is. And I've heard really good things about it. Like, it's so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna stop raving about how pretty it is and read the description. <laughs> okay, it says, Never pray to the gods that answer after dark. France, 1714. In a moment of desperation, a young woman named Adeline meets a dangerous stranger and makes a terrible mistake. As she realizes the limitations of her Faustian, Faustian bargain, Beginning, being able to live forever without being able to be remembered by anyone she sees. Addie chooses to flee her small village of everything she once held dear is torn away. But there are still dreams to be had and a life to be lived. And she is determined to find excitement and satisfaction in the wide, beckoning world, even if she will be doomed to be alone forever. Or not quite alone, as every year on her birthday, the alluring Luke comes to visit, checking to see if she's ready to give up her soul. Their darkly, their darkly thrilling game stretches through the ages, seeing Addie witness history and fight to regain herself as she crosses oceans and tries on various lives. It will be 300 years before she stumbles into a hidden bookstore and discovers someone who can remember her name, and suddenly everything changes again. So this sounds really good, kind of mysterious and like an adventure. So I'm excited for this one. I think I'm going to try to read this one at the beach as well, but I might read it before then if I get through too many, but this is a potential book to take on vacation. Okay, so the next one that I have is We Were Liars by E. Lockhart, and if you guys watched my shopping video, you saw me bring this one home, um, and this one is like a mystery type thing. So let me see if I can find the description. Okay, here we go. This one's kind of a short description. It says, if anyone asks how it ends, just lie. We are Sinclairs. We live at least in the summertime on a private island off the coast of Massachusetts. Perhaps that is all you need to know, except that some of us are liars. And then there's a couple of um, quotes and it says like, haunting, sophisticated, twisted, and twisty, and well told. A satisfying but shocking twisted end. An ambitious novel with an engaging voice, a clever plot, and some terrific writing. So this one is a little bit different from the other ones that I picked up. It's set, I believe, like near like a island. So this would also be 
a good one to take to the beach because it's you know set at like a tropical location so this one will probably go with me on vacation if you guys don't know I'm leaving for a trip um, the second week of June so I want to bring some books along with me and I'm also going to be doing a packing vlog so you'll see the ones that I do end up taking in that video but this is really exciting I love mystery books because you're like trying to solve it the whole way through and the very last book that I'm putting on my TBR for this month is the first book of the Shadow and Bone series by Lee Bardugo. Um, basically, I wanted to read this because I know that it came out with a Netflix series and I'm going to read the whole series and then react to the Netflix adaptation in another video. So if you guys want um, reading vlogs for all of these, I would be happy to do those as well. But I'm going to go ahead and read the description. So it says... Soldier, Summoner, Saint. Orphaned and, ex and expendable, Alina Starkov is a soldier who knows she may not survive her first trek across the Shadow Ford. A swath of unnatural darkness crawling with monsters. But when her regiment is attacked, Alina unleashes dormant magic not even she knew she possessed. Now Alina will enter a lavish world of royalty and intrigue as she trains with, trains with the Grisha. Her, her country's magical military elite, and falls under the spell of their notorious leader, the Darkling. He believes Alina can summon a force capable of destroying the shadow, fo the shadow Fold and reuniting their war-ravaged country, but only if she can master her untamed gift. As the threat to the kingdom mounts and Alina unlocks the secrets of her past, she will make a dangerous discovery that could threaten all she loves in the very future of a nation. So... This one is the first in that trilogy that I was speaking about, so if you guys want to see the reading vlog for this, I will make that happily and then pick up the other two and also make videos for those as well. So just let me know down below if you want to hear about this book. Okay guys, so that's going to be all from me for this video today. I'm really excited to start reading these books. I think I'm going to be starting one tomorrow. Um, we're going to the lake for the weekend, so I'm going to be starting one at the boat. But let me know in the comments down below which ones you guys want to see um, videos about or hear from me about because I'll be happy to make some content including them if that's something you would be interested in. But give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or you're excited about any of the books that I'm going to read. And also subscribe down below so you don't miss any future content about these books because they're definitely going to be in upcoming videos. So with that being said, I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching my video and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.